All right, and they are off. Let's get ready to go, 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 go. And Anesta not wasting any time as he is trying to take that pass on David Todd, doing what he has to do, pressure him from the very beginning. And right behind him is Hugo Ibanez. So clean start for our top three. Looks like top four is right there. So slightly breaking away from the rest of the pack of these three. We have uh, Iker Tell. I don't know if that's not Iker. That is not Iker in in fourth. So Iker is back down in. Ooh, Iker had a bad start. Very bad start. I want start to say that's Iker. Mikey in fourth. Possibly. I, I think it might be. I think it might be. Or oh, Hugo Taveron. That's who it is. Oh, yeah. Be. Yeah. It's Taveron. It's Taveron. I bet you that's it's going to be David Todd in Iniesta. Come on, scoring. Come on, scoring. Yep, Tavaron Astoriano from eighth all the way up to fifth. So good news by Astoriano. Astorino, not surprised by that. He's been fast. Todd getting a little bit of breathing room as he goes on the back section over that triple. He goes. Also, race management, right? You got to make sure you don't use up your tires and your dips in this 45 minutes. So you got to be very smart about how you race. That's where racecraft comes into play as we get ready. Matisse Pair, the one of the big losers on that first lap, uh, from fifth down to eleventh. And the man behind behind all the drama, Axel Constantine, is currently running in thirteenth. But lots of racing to go, as we have just gone to almost two minutes down. As David Todd has pulled a slight gap of one point six seconds over a second, but it's a lot closer. Uh, on the field, I think we're with second now. Who looks that that looks like to be in Yesta's car? There's Todd just going on the dragon's back. So first, second, third have spaced themselves out, and behind them, fourth, fifth, and sixth are challenging for the lead. In Yesta went for the early surge, trying to get out there in front of Todd, but Todd held him off. And there is our leader. I really like that section of the track that uh, chicane and Todd with a 47 4, 2.1 yeah. seconds up on uh, Iniesta. Two Hugo Tavaron back to back in the third. 47s. Excellent. 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 But he, he has to drive smart. Don't use up those tires. 15 years old. In the cusp of winning a. And in position to do well and actually win this. Uh, Euro B's, but 42 minutes left to go in this race. It's going to be a lot. This is the battle. I think that's Astorino right there. who's in fourth. No, Ooh, he might have got Tavernon of course, in the white. Yeah, so Tavernon is back in third. I think Astorino has gotten in front of him, and he uh, has. Yes. So. Astorino's in third, and Iniesta's in second. Astorino's going to set his sights. There's Iniesta pulling away from these guys. But we have the third, fourth, fifth, and sixth place cars all together battling it out. They are currently four seconds back of Iniesta. Iniesta making some inroads on David Todd, too. No, they're getting close. Our leaders are getting very close. So hopefully we get switched over to that. As Gab Gabriel makes his way through the chicane onto the 180 double, onto the straightaway. That was a 58.5 for Gabriel. And we have some moving and shaking as Hugo Ibanez is now in fourth. Our leaders, uh, David Todd, is 1.1 seconds up on Manuel Yeresta. We have a battle brewing between those two. And just as I say that, we switch over to our leader, David Todd, on that Mugen making his way down that dragon's back with Iniesta right behind him now. Iniesta finding a second win early with 40 minutes and 29 seconds left to go. So we're, about, we're about two minutes away from some pit stops here. And they have been uh, pivotal in this race. And we even saw, unfortunate, one of our drivers who was in the lead flaming out, running out of fuel or flaming out before his first pit stop. So that has to be in the back of the minds of some of these racers. As Gabriel goes across the line, he's still currently in third with Ibanez right behind him, who was told to look out for Ibanez. He's in that white and pink car. 
I think he runs. I'm not sure what car he runs. Um, someone said he might be an X-ray. I could be wrong. Who's that? Sorry. Ibanez. Oh no. Looks like he, that's right. Uh, Brent, Brent Hall says looks like Jones is not going. He is three laps down. So Jones having some technical difficulties. Let's see if he can get back on the track and get some laps. Always sad when a, a car goes out in the first five minutes of a race. So much time left. Would have, would have, should have. And Ab Gabriel makes a mistake, clips that pipe, and that is going to allow the faster Hugo Ibanez, who was told to watch out for by Robert Badier. It is very fast. So can Hugo put his head down? He was a little bit faster than Gabriel and catch up. Ooh, there we go. There's Gabriel just clipping that pipe and allowing that pass. So now Ibanez is going to shake off Gabriel and chase down Iniesta and David Todd. He has 7.3 seconds to make up. Lots of time to make it up as we are now on the 38.55 mark. Ibanez runs an X-Ray with FX engine. There you go. So we have a Mugen Associated and X-Ray. And I think Associated for Astorino. Check that. And then I think we are on board with David Todd at the moment, our leader. Astorino runs a WIRC, yep. so four different makes in the top four cars. Yes. David Todd just threw down a 46.9. Fastest lap of the race so far. Six minutes and 20 seconds down for him, roughly. Yeah, I've been looking at the uh, right. the lap times between David and Manuel. Um, they were trading fastest lap times, um, but on that last lap, David was able to stretch out an extra second and a half by uh, doing that 46.9 and Manuel doing a 48.2. Mm. So I think this might be the battle for second. Let's see. Nope, I was wrong. Second. That is Manuel. Hugo Ibanez. I think Manuel just pitted. He had a 53 second lap. That would make sense. So pit stop coming in. And that is Ibanez, I do believe. Yeah, it's a three. Wow, Frank, you have, you have got those numbers down. <laughs> Astorino is WIRC. Yes. I'm gonna to guess Todd yep. is gonna to come in now on this lap. I hope he, I hope they follow him so we can see what that he, yeah, he had some really fast bits. So I think that's yes, uh, right? No, he's not pitted. So oh, he must have just pitted uh, though, him. but he had a 54 second lap. He just pitted. So he must have that pitted on the last lap. lap. Yeah. So Iniesta is now seven tenths of a second back. Matisse Perret is up front who probably hasn't pitted yet but he is now on a he's 7.1 seconds back i think he still has to pit so we have a battle as iniesta is back on the rear end of the number one car of of david todd we have a mugen and associated going at it right now two pillow bowl cars actually yeah, probably all pillow bowl cars besides the uh, the, the techno is uh sea hub biker All right, so Todd stretching it out a little bit now. That gap back up to eight tenths of a second. We got some lap traffic here, and I've seen lap traffic play havoc with leaders at many races this Ooh, year. Oh, what happened to Todd there? Oh no, there was that. No, that wasn't. Jeez, that was lap traffic. <laughs> wow. He was getting out of the way, Frank. Getting yeah, old. Todd yeah. does make a mistake. He just hit the curb now. So David Todd driving a good race. Manuel driving a good good line too, not really applying pressure. So just top three up drivers there. doing have a, a forty-seven flats in that last lap. Yes. That is true. Uh Todd just threw down a forty-six nine and uh, Iniesta was four tenths of a second faster for forty six nine. So we got a good race on our hands right here for first and second. Third is 7.6 back, but lots of time. 35 minutes down. I mean, 35 minutes left to go. 
So we're almost at the 15 minute mark. Yeah, but I was talking about in the top five, John. There is no Igama. I was really talking about the top five. We have uh, Mugen, AE, X Ray, and then now we have a Techno. I don't, I don't know what Matisse tries. Nicholas says, I want to know what brand the cars they have. Kyosho. There is a Kyosho in her. I did see uh, some yellow inserts. So somebody has a Kyosho in this, in this class. It's probably one of the French guys. Matisse is running an X-Ray with an FX engine and hot race mm -hmm. tires. Any Kyoshos in there, Frank? I am just going to check that just now. All right. Todd stretching that lead out to 1.2 seconds. So Todd able to pick up the pace and pull away from Iniesta when needed. I think he really needs to manage this race. He can take a page out of Robert Battier's, uh playbook we all knew that robert battier was a late race challenger you knew that as the race went on longer robert would get faster because he used to set his car up for that so he used to have the heavier diff the heavier shocks the harder tires uh he knew that he would need that in the last 15 minutes of the race and that was one of his specialties uh Luke Luke says he's kind any... of Sorry, uh, I'm not seeing any Kyoshos in this, uh, in, in the final, in the main final. Okay. Zero Kyoshos. I thought there was a Kyosho earlier. I saw some uh, fluorescent yellow inserts, and it's only a couple cars that have that, and it's a Mayako or a Kyosho. I could be wrong. I'm sure I'll be corrected. Inserts where? Not in the tires. No, in the uh, the rear inserts in the rear toe plate. Ah. So they have different colors. You can have fluorescent. You know, they have the various You're saying I have good eyes. Oh my goodness! How you can see the the rear toe well, plate? Well, that was they were, they were they were while they were in the pit. Oh right. While they were in the pit. <laughs> but David Todd is. I mean, David Todd must have made a. Oh man, Iniesta just turned on some fast 46 seconds. He just turned on his fastest lap of the race. He's now five tenths of a second behind Todd. Yeah, Todd may have made a must yeah. have made a mistake there. It's down to half a second lead. I think this is. Nope, now it's back to 1.7 second. <laughs> yeah, it looks like Emmanuel had a long lap of 48 1 that time by. Trying to see who we're following now. I believe this is Ibanez and Teles. So this is the battle for third at the moment. Well, was the battle? Oh, oh, was that our leader? Todd makes a mistake. Oh my yep. goodness! And I think that's our leader. Lead. Ooh. What? What? I, don't, I am highly confused. <laughs> oh, maybe that was where the half-second lead came from. It dropped to a half a second. Now we're back. That was a replay, I believe. Okay. All right. Uh, there you go. Uh, Agama uses yellow inserts as well. So that maybe that was uh, likely <laughs> one of the Agama. <laughs> that I on. Oh, man. All right. So there's David Todd still out front. Actually, he has eight seconds up on Manuel. So maybe Manuel came in. No, I think that was Manuel. Yes, he that must made have just paid his 54 second uh, outlap. Oh, he made that mistake, I think. I think it was the one that made that mistake. Not, uh... Well, he might have oh, pitted, okay. because we are 14 minutes in, so... Yeah, yeah, that's... Uh, I was just looking at the time. We might be able to see uh, Todd come in for a pit. His dad and mechanic... I'm not sure who his mechanic is, but uh, his dad is certainly uh, pretty quick with the fuel gun. And yes, oh, that's, we got uh, a, a pit. There's his dad. There There's his out. father. Well, that was a good pit. Good pit. Good pit. Good out. Let's see what type of pit out lap he's going to have. David Todd firmly in control right now. Let's see it all shakes out after his pit. I think that's, I think that's Iniesta, Iniesta behind just behind him again. Huh. So, you know, after, after like David Todd, pit, I mean. one lap more. One lap more than Iniesta. Yeah. So. Oh, and he's made a mistake! 
Oh, no. No problem. He's got 30 minutes to make it up. But maybe this is what Iniesta needs to put on the afterburners and throw in. Yep. Stitson calling. We have had a change in the lead. Well, and that'll be confirmed as they come over the, uh, the finish line just there. 2.4 seconds separates them, but they still have 11.7 seconds up on third. That is now, wow, 6.9. So that was a 57.6 lap for and a David, as you see. Yeah. So, but he has plenty of time. He, he can take his time, catch back up to Iniesta. He doesn't need to go crazy. He doesn't need to burn up his tires. He just needs to be very smooth, very calm. Save that car for that last 15 minutes. We do know it's very difficult Iniesta. to pass, though. Yes, but in so we'll the you, you just hang in the back and let them make the mistakes. Or, or you steam so in second. the last corner. No, which, which, in, which car seems <laughs> to be... Yes, which was epic. <laughs> so 1.9... No, I think it's that closer to 1.9 now, now, I think. Right. I think that's Todd right behind them. They nice. have very similar paint jobs too, but Todd's car is considerably much lower in the rear end. And uh, it looks like Ibanez is running that uh, that Razor wing. So, and Todd is running a regular wing. Okay. That's going to be close to this when they come by. 1.1. 1 .1. So yeah. Todd chipping away nine tenths of a second. Eight tenths of a second. Chipping away. He's hacking is away. <laughs> he, is, he is definitely hacking away with a big axe. I mean, the last lap for Iniesta was 47.37 and 46.63. Uh, mm -hmm. um, so that's a lot. Our current run in order in first, Manuel Iniesta, David Todd in second, Hugo Ibanez third. Matisse Pere in fourth, Hugo Taveron in five, Gabriel Astarino in sixth, Nacho Sanchez in seventh, Ivan Navarro in eighth, Eric Leike in ninth, Axel Constantine in tenth, Mark Zawart in eleventh, Iker Tellez dropped all the way down to eleventh, and Lewis Jones oh, really? out. Second. Oh, but he's back. Lewis Jones back on the track, so. Yeah, unfortunately, we didn't really see what happened to Tellez there. No, he might have had a flame out in pits or something like that to be that far back. These two are about to be nose to tail. Coming through the big infield section. Going to be considerably less than one second as they're coming into lap traffic as well. With well, Dodge right behind him, man. He, uh, yeah. he put the afterburners on that yes. straight away, man. He like oh, nitrous man. oxide that car on the straight away. That was incredible. Get ready with that replay flying. button. And you can hear Stitson, the Efro referee, telling car nine, who's just that middle car there, that uh, the next two cars behind him are faster and the leaders. Yeah. Like I said, they're Stitson doing a great job of managing this race. Yeah. Jan, there are no Mayako cars in this final that I know of. Ooh, Oops. and Iniesta going into the pits. Avoiding Iniesta the... Iniesta uh, running first. Short. Yeah. Avoiding the, uh, the uh, what you call it, the, hmm. the lap traffic. So may maybe that was a tactical thing. You know, it's a, it's a, we see F1 teams doing this. Mm -hmm. hmm. So we expect Todd should, if Iniesta's coming in, uh, mm, that was a little earlier though. Hmm. Very interesting. That's what and I mean. I mean, is... yes, it, it, it seems early and we know he's pitting a little bit. Ooh, and he's gone over. Or was that, that, was that Iniesta? That was someone else. Yeah, Tavernon. Uh, that was uh, Tavernon. 
it could have been a thing to because then that might allow Todd to get tangled up with the with the lap traffic. Yeah, Todd's right behind him. I don't think that's Tavaron. That might be Horn. I don't know that if it is Tavaron's being lapped at at the I mean they got they got eighteen seconds like wow. Fifth is eighteen seconds behind I mean fourth is eighteen seconds behind third. Wow. Yeah, I, I think they should just stay on the leaders for a while because we have a great battle. Ooh, look at that. Look at that. That guy, that person needs to get out of the way because they're in the way of these guys making progress. I, am, yeah, I, I hear the referees calling traffic. I think I heard the word penalty. Okay, so neither one Ooh. of these is David Todd. He's actually out front by 6.6 .6 seconds. Yeah. Which is probably going to be gone when his next pit stop. That was okay. So there, those were. There's Todd there. Right. Okay. So they were following a battle way back in eighth. And Todd now his lead is seven point four. So it's gone up by a second and a half, even working through the traffic. Somebody is. Pooping and hollering in the pit lane. Yes, there's, a, there's an down. upset somebody down there. There's Iniesta. There's David Thorne on those Pro Circuit tires. He's he's running the full ultimate package. That's like Robert's old package right there. Oh, Mugen Pro off Circuit. the track just a bit. <laughs> Back That's on. Todd. No harm, no foul. No harm, is no foul. Is Iniesta and, coming yeah. in for a pit again? No, we was confused who that was. Had to be. Had Maybe to be. it was a back marker that he was coming up on. I think we were they were following a whole different race. Mm. But lots of cars looking very similar here. Well, regardless of anything, Todd's now got a nine second lead on Iniesta. He's flying, dude. And that's before the pit flying. stop for Iniesta. Yeah. And Todd coming Todd in now for fuel. Good pit stop. Good pit stop. By his crew. So can Todd come out in front of Iniesta? That might be Iniesta right behind I him. I think he did, I yeah. So back, back to back. It's it's gonna go tit for tat for this, to the end, because they're just they're just like one lap apart on uh, pit stops. Yeah, but one lap is forty seven seconds on this track. So interesting, interesting. Twenty one minutes fifty seconds left to go. We have. Going past the halfway mark now. First, second, 11, second. Yeah, Todd's out they are up, separated by slow. Seconds. That's that's why they're so close together. Mm -hmm. But Todd's able to, to find that pace and able to push his car to pull away from a Niesta. So let's see how well this works for him. It's just slightly like slight. Iniesta gets up behind him, but Todd's able to just pull away. This where Todd seems to be very fast on this section. Coming through the chicane. Watch how he comes through the chicane if he does it. Ooh, that was an Iniesta that went off track. Actually. Yeah, Ooh. yeah, and waited. Ooh. Yeah, but, oh, man. Well, he, he waited and that. lost a lot of time. So it was a point four. Now it's a full second. So, you know, fair enough. Just notice Astorino down in 12th hasn't, uh, yes. is, is down three laps. No. Oh, and who was that? Is that nope. Iniesta? It could be, it looks like this car. Uh, Jay Dissy in the chat asking, uh, are there any Mayaka cars in the final? There are not. Second. 
Mm, no, Inyasa is that is not Inyasa. No, that we is we're taught again, aren't we? Oh, okay. Inyasa now down ring uh, one point five seconds. There's Todd. Todd's running the traditional Mugen ring, and his the rear wheel car is a lot lower. Might just be the low wing too. The first pace package is Mugen Pro Circuit and Ultimate. Mr. Kinney, what, what you're watching right now. Pro Circuit tires, Ultimate engines, Mugen chassis. And it makes sense that the Pro Circuit tires are really good earned pain because that's where they're based. Uh, Todd now 3.1 seconds up. 19, man. I, you know what, Frank? This is like one of the fastest. I don't know what it is, but the race's time seems to be going so fast for us. <laughs> we are now on 18 minutes and 55 seconds. Like, it's crazy. Yeah. Todd still doing 46 second laps. Uh, 46.8 last time. His best lap is a 46.5. Iniesta's best lap is a 46.7. Uh, fastest lap overall is a 46.3 from Teleth, but he's way down in 11th place in that number four car. Uh, our overall TQ not faring well. I'm fortunate for him. Uh, but now the lead, uh, Iniesta must have come in for fuel because the lead's back up to 10 7. So, yeah, 54.8 second lap for Iniesta. Yeah. So I assume Todd might be coming in for fuel this lap for the next one. We shall see. And that should put them right gap right up against each other. Yeah, if you so add about Iniesta. seven or eight seconds, um, yeah, it'll put them a lot closer together. It's about how long it takes for the um, fuel. <laughs> Looks like, uh, nope, he's not coming in. Hmm. Well, maybe he's going to stretch it out a bit. 10.7 is like he the gap. He was able to in the first stint, so I, I was wondering why he's just coming in one lap later, but maybe this is where he starts to really stretch out the stints and just run mm -hmm. just an extra lap. Well, that's we're starting to see that with fuel mileage becoming so important, we're seeing this. Uh, I've seen it quite a few times in the American race that I've been to where Mayfield and Fend have been switching up their strategies mid-race. Mayfield really, I, I really started for seeing him do it back in 2021 when he were all on his second buggy nationals. He was like, yeah, we, they call it an audible now. That's the thing. Audible is a word in RC <laughs> yeah. now. And, uh, you know, we called a few audible. First, oh, he might have come in, Frank. He uh, might have come in. But it seems like that would have been too early for him. Yeah. Now we'll see on this lap. If he doesn't come in on this lap, he's already been in. Wow, that jump actually is really big out the back there. I'm surprised more cars haven't flown off the side of the track. It looks fairly simple. It's been a great weekend of racing at her at the RC Sachs facility. Beautiful facility. One of the many beautiful facilities you can find in Spain. Uh, Joseph was telling about he went on a motocross tour here in Spain, and he says, you know how the tracks, it's a lot of RC tracks in Spain for RC. He goes, motocross is exactly the same. It's full of motocross tracks. So I'm fe I think Todd has, I don't know. I'm, I'm highly confused. We can't, when you can't see him, you can't It's kind really of hard tell. to say that he, he came in already. It's because, hmm. That's, that's very weird. Unfortunate. Yeah. When, when you're, that's just kind of the, you know, we don't have any boots on the ground to let us know what's going on, so we kind of no, just no. at the mercy of the screen. So there's Iniesta. Gap is still 10.7. Todd, Todd has to have come in for fuel because uh, it's crazy. Um, I'm trying to see he if there is a like a lap time list for the finals, but there, I can't find one for the for the live uh, results. Oh, well, we're in the last 15 minutes of this race. Should be two more fuel stops for everybody. 
No, one. It should be a fuel stopper on now, actually. This might be his schedule. Yeah. His schedule fuel stop. But uh, neither, either way, Todd is absolutely dialed in right now. <laughs> that was his. Oh, there we go. So he okay. There we so he's got are. one there more stop. Are. So Iniesta is he's he Iniesta looks like he has one more stop than Todd. Because Iniesta Second. is going to have to come in here soon, and then he's going to have to come in again for fuel. So Todd has a fuel stop in hand. Yeah. If my calculations are right. So he's got a big lead plus a fuel stop in hand. And he came out well in front of Iniesta this time around. So before when he was coming out, Iniesta was right behind him and he would come out for fuel. But now he has a, a bigger lead. So we'll see what the gap yeah. is when they come by. I think Iniesta is one of those two cars behind him. No, that's not Iniesta. That's Iniesta, right? The Iniesta. Sorry. So there's David Todd coming across the loop. Iniesta, that was a 54-7 for him. And Iniesta is now 3.3 seconds. But Iniesta is going to let that all go. What? What? This has got to be a replay. Uh, it must be because we didn't see that view Yeah. Uh, when he came in just, just, uh, just a lap ago. But Iniesta should peel off a of fuel anytime soon now, if he hasn't already. And that gap will go back up to 10 seconds, barring any yeah. any problems for our leader, her Todd. But you called it, Frank. You you liked him from the get-go, and he's doing very well. He was one of the favorites coming into this race. Yeah, and, um, you know, it's... Uh, it's Oh, is that Iniesta? That is Iniesta. <laughs> I think, I don't know. I think in, he's, Wolf says I, I think it was because Wolf. at the bottom of the live time, you can see who crossed most recently. And and, uh, and he's the fourth yeah. most recent car to, to cross the, the, the timing loop. So I was definitely Iniesta. I think Todd is running nine minutes since. I think Iniesta is running short because he came in first. In the first pit stop, he came in first before Todd, and I think Todd's adjusted his. Todd came in a lap after. I think Todd's adjusted his fuel, so I yeah, think Todd uh, I was, has one less than him. I was wondering, you know, maybe is it is there such a thing as sandbagging for uh, for fuel stints, <laughs> or you know, throwing a throwing a little fake out? Yeah. Um, so that was Iniesta. Ten point five is the gap. So Iniesta has to come yeah. in one more time. So does wow. Todd. But uh, no, let's see. No, Iniesta's coming. No, one they'll more have time. to. So, yeah, there's right. no way they can run 12 minutes. No, no. Todd will come in at. Man, I'm all and confused. It'll be a it'll be short pit stop as well. So it'll be even you know what half the amount of time that he's that he stood still. Mm -hmm. You could be right, Wolf. You could be right. You probably are. And there's Todd. And we saw, so. you know, we, we, we saw Todd make that one mistake and then have to have to gain it, have to gain the place back. And, you know, what, what, what do we see when we see drivers like Angaro and Kanas and Boots, you know, dominate a 45 or 60 minute race? It's they make no mistakes or maybe well, one mistake when they're way out and head uh, ahead like uh, JCC did last year. But um if, if that's the one mistake that, that Todd does for a whole 45-minute final. Whew. Yeah, he's driving a very smart race, but we're following Iniesta right now. He's trying to chase him down. And both of these guys have to come in one more time. Which is part of the joys and the dramas of uh, nitro yeah. racing. You never know what can happen in the yeah. pits. <laughs> it's never uh, guaranteed anything. Not at all. Not at all. But uh, we're currently following our second running order is David Todd and first Iniesta 
about who are following along in second. Hugo Ibanez third. Matisse Perry in fifth, fourth. Hugo Tavron fifth. Nacho Sanchez sixth. Ivan Navarro seventh. Eric Leike eighth. Mark Zwart in ninth. Axel Constantine in tenth. Iker Tellez in eleventh. Luis Jones in twelfth. And unfortunately, Gabriel Astoriano having a a, a DN, it's looking like it's going to have a DNF. He's not got back on the track and he's 18 laps back. So, but with nine minutes and 33 seconds left to go in this race, it's all in David Todd's hands. Let's hope the race gods are kind to him and give him this victory and nothing happens to him. He has one more pit stop to go, but if it stays like this, he should win convincingly over David Todd. I'm uh, sorry, over in Iniesta. Ooh. Yeah, someone clearing out their uh, their engine there. Two times. Nine minutes left. All right. Nine you know who's coming under pressure now, actually, is uh, Ibanez is only four tenths of a second behind Iniesta, which I think is what we're following right now. Yes. Didn't that is the race we're following right that. second. Battle for second. We have two pink. We have two pink and white cars or black rims and white wheels. Identical wheels too. So, identical so very wings. confusingly. So yeah. Suddenly we have a, a very extremely tight battle for second. Oh, Ooh. and who was that that went over? I think that was Ibanez. Oh, I think it was Ibanez too. He dived in, he dove in there to make a pass, it looked like, and he couldn't make it stick. Okay. Yep, yeah, that was Ibanez. Here's the replay. Ooh, and just oh. smacks in the back. Just takes off the brakes, yeah. I guess, and... Uh, Unfortunate. In the S's car didn't go anywhere, but uh, Ibanez's car did. Seven. All right, so 7.40 left to go. Todd's going to come in for his final pit. This man's going to have to pit again as well. Ten. Todd got a very good cushion. 9.4 up on second place. Ibanez drops four seconds oh, back. There's Todd coming in Todd for his last... So these guys are going to be clumped together here. In and out, very easy. And there's Iniesta, I think, right behind him now. Todd still looking as rapid as he was earlier on. Is that Iniesta? I cannot tell. I think, I think it is. It's a pink and white. But he's going to have to peel off for some fuel here shortly as well. Todd's in lap was a 48.8, but I think we can maybe put that down to uh, having to go wide in the in the very last corner. So yeah, they are very close, but NES is going to have to peel off for some, for some fuel, and that's going to be it for both of them. There he goes. There now. we go. NES is short pitting. He's on six minutes. He's on six and a half because he came in. Yeah, but that's it's done. They they're both good to go to the end. But that that's going to put that lead back up to the to eight point seven nine seconds again for Todd, and he is in cruise control right now, where Iniesta has to push it to catch him up. So with six minutes left to go. Todd is in great position to uh, join a list of very fast people, very fast races that have won the Euro Bs. And this will be good. This will be a great confidence booster for him. He's probably going to do the Euro A's here and. Uh, at the end of the month, we'll probably definitely be at the World Championships as well. So, good run for David Todd. Yep, five and a half minutes left in this one. Yeah, 7.7 .7 seconds is the, the lead now. But yeah, if the flag yep. drops now, Todd would be joining a, a very long list of uh, very influential names such as Ken Oss. Berton, Barufalo, Montiero, Ronafalt, Lee Martin. Some big names there. Yep. 
He's, he's very he's driving very calm and collective the time we've seen him he's only made that one mistake it was a big mistake but he was able to get back and uh, tap, uh and that's a sign of a champion like these guys like they make mistakes but the ability to recoup is what also when they do make a mistake it they they it's very minimum so they're yep. able to recoup and get that speed back or or turn it up to 110 percent and and make up for it so it's pretty impressive Lewis Jones is not scoring, so he's going back off the track. So, unfortunate for Ike Tellez. Don't know what happened to him. I'm assuming a flame out or so, of some sort. Because he was in the mix in the top five. And he has been in that lower, lower third of the uh, scoring for the rest of the race. And Todd is just out there on cruise control. 47-2, backing it down a little bit. And uh, that gap is going to stretch out even more. There's Iniesta as our uh, scoring catches up for seven seconds, 5.8 seconds over Adonyes. We have three minutes and 46 seconds left to go in this Euro Bees. This young man who has been fast all weekend, who took the TQ, a much deserved TQ in Q4, and made the whole qualifying session go to a tie break. Is about to be rewarded with a big win. Daniel says, I'm fully responsible for jinxing Ike. <laughs> we don't know what happened to him, man. We need to know what happened to him. He's very fast. But I think David Todd was just showing more racecraft throughout the week. Weekend, so. 6.8 is the gap. But. We have two minutes and 55 seconds left. Anything can happen. I'm sure David Todd's dad will be thoroughly chuffed about this if it, when it happens. Possibly, yeah. If it happens. I'll tell you what needs to happen is that um, David, uh, no matter what happens, really needs to be put in the registration list for the Euro A finals because he's not on the list. Oh, really? No. At least not for Spain. I mean, it's well, a lot of racing. Euro A, so he was in the Euro E buggy Euros. He has this race. He goes to Euro A's, and then a month later, you got the uh, Worlds. So <laughs> it's, it's like a lot of race. I mean, mind you, all of these races are close by France and Spain, but still. Thanks for the great coverage, guys. A best overtakes video would be awesome. Well, Peter Harder and Constantine's <laughs> epic over Bento would be on the top two. Yeah, yeah. Those would be the, the last two to show, <laughs> for sure. One minute, nine, just 95 seconds left to go. Todd, 6.9 seconds up on Iniesta. Iniesta? Throw down a 47-3 that time by. He's got a 5.2 second lead on the Ibanez and Matisse is 23 seconds back of him. So Iniesta probably settling in for a second or hoping for Todd to make a mistake and Hugo Ibanez would want Iniesta to make a mistake. But Iniesta's driving a, uh, uh, he's driving a good race. So He is, yeah. I mean, there's absolutely zero faults really from iniesta but just todd just just faster yep todd just says okay i'm gonna pick it up a little bit we have 45 seconds left to go here's a 47 flat let's put that gap back <laughs> up to seven and he does that well done to david todd this will be a big feather in his cap a big feather in his cap uh going into 2025 and the rest of this season and uh, his goal is to be a, a top driver, so he is. This is a. This will be a very big step towards that. He uh. He's definitely probably trying to be one of the top Mugen drivers in Europe, or in the world to be that to be. I, I would say. I mean, honest. for sure, because I 
can't really name it, uh, any. Well, no, the the Killiches. Yeah. Uh, who else? And that's about it. But I mean, Adam Drake runs. Uh, Adam Drake runs Mugen, but I mean, he's 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 not there for results. He's more of a team manager, and yeah, he still races, and I'm sure he wants to do well. But he, he's, I mean, he's you know he's, he's getting up in age. He's got a lot on his plate. He's got his business going, so his job isn't to get results anymore. His job is to go out there and be a good Mugen representative and help other people get good help results. Yeah. Car. Yeah. So David Todd, barring any disaster, with and this what last this five last seconds <laughs> one day. here we go this so, is here we go well david, david todd, todd. taking the euro bees win